clear across the road right now. These bites are really stirred up, so give us some space. The lead is against fence, but the ones coming into the lead are running for some reason. So everything's just unsettled. On the Sapata Ranch, you gather the bison annually. And it used to be a big month-long ordeal where we'd gather them horseback. And now, what used to take us 10 days to gather, we gather in about five hours. And we start bringing the bison from the northern end of the ranch down to the southern, putting up fences behind them, trying to trap them in the smaller and smaller area as we come south. Bison have to be managed. Bison reproduce. They quickly will overtake their landscape if that's possible. When you keep the numbers at the right level, the bison graze in patches here and there, but if you put too many bison out, they don't graze in patches anymore. They start spreading out and grazing everything. And that's been a real challenge, a real adventure, and once a year is all they're handled at Roundup. And that's an exciting and a challenging time, but a critical time for maintaining the health of these grasslands and shrublands. this morning, but it looks nice. It'll, it'll be uh, good as long as the wind doesn't pick up and get too cold. The moment was what we've been waiting for. We're going to try to get 2,000 plus in today. You never get them all in. A little nervous. Anything can go wrong, you never know. Trying to pull off an operation like this on over 50,000 acres, you soon learn how much more efficient it is to get up in the air and go scout. Going out in five minutes, you can see where every bison is. Okay, on the east meadows, further to the north, there's a group of about 100 plus, 150. And then between that group and the red gate, there's the majority of the herd. Right on the fence. Uh, right now, they are almost right off my wing tip, but inside the fence. So we are on a two-way radio, and, and he'll go out and scout, and I'm looking up, and I can see where he's working. You don't want the truck out there. You want the truck further south. Yeah, I want it south and further west, southwest of where I am right now. Yeah, it'd be good if you could fly there and show us where you want it. OK. We'll go this way, Johnson. Once we get the cake truck out there to that herd, that cake truck's not going to be able to lead them at all through that country. Well, just going to have to figure out what to do then. No, like if it physically can, there's creeks and things to cross that won't work. Yeah, OK, we need to use the cake truck. So he can get out to that, but from there, we'll try to draw him back. And then hopefully everything will push to the west. Yeah, OK. There's a meadow here where all those bison are. Uh, we're going to skirt around and head back to the east and, and bring groups to you. And we'll just hang out in this meadow? Yeah. Blow the horn a little yeah. bit? Yeah, yeah. Training buffalo has become the single most valuable tool. And so 
We have a truck that we put a bulk feeder on that drops out a pound or two at a time. These little grain pellets that we feed them to basically bribe them into following us. And then we have a horn that just blasts out as far as possible. And every time we go out with the truck, we just blast that horn. And pretty soon, the whole herd is stimulated by the arrival of this truck. Yeah, hey, can you throttle on the horn for us? Yep. Cheers. Up at you. everything moving, so we're just kind of trying to push everything over to the western side, we're trying to get them all into the biggest possible group and then go through the gate. Just a tiny little push at the right moment can move the buffalo herd in the right direction. And bison are extremely herd-bound animals, so if there's a herd over here miles away and you push on them and they're going to go right to that herd, it's like a big magnet and everything just goes into it. Once we get them in close around this headquarters, we'll use the keg truck and a couple motorcycles and basically just be the presence on the ground that's kind of pushing them along. I'm just going to hit them real hard. We should do it all in one hit. Yeah, it'd be great if we could. Three o'clock. Got what, 95% of them in. 
to compare it to what we were doing before. It's a perfect day. Everybody did great. They did really well. Proud of them. The possibilities of this place are pretty profound, and to be a part of that, it's just going to get better.